It's a bench. Compilation. Okay, bye. It's time to cleanse your mind. With these shower thoughts by Tumblr. There, I said it normally, okay? Okay, okay. We good? Everybody good? Okay. If we are made of stardust, then we are the universe becoming aware of itself. Giving to the poor is seen as a virtue, yet receiving aid while poor is seen as a vice. America. Jeff Bezos earns maximum wage. Parking in someone's usual parking spot is a form of asserting dominance. We constantly think of Earth being down, and we're standing on top of it. But it's just as accurate to think of the world being above us, and we're sort of sucked up to it and we're dangling with our feet due to the gravity. Science. There's nothing quite as uncertain or unstable as the first note of happy birthday being sung by a group of people. Why is that incredibly accurate? The fact that people put legs and arms between closing elevator doors shows a lot of trust to the mechanics that make them. Yeah, Final Destination has taught me that, uh, don't do shit like that. Going to the supermarket at night is way better than during the day. I think that's, that doesn't seem more like a shower thought, but more like a, an introvert speaking their mind, like, who would... Who would do that? A delayed birthday greeting can also technically count as an advanced birthday greeting. Eh. With Fast and Furious 9 coming out, it's no longer a movie, but a TV series you watch at the movies. Yeah, the MCU... Uh, way ahead of that joke. Saying someone has a dry sense of humor implies the existence of wet sense of humor. May I like to point out? Moist humor. The overuse of literally has figuratively made literally the new figuratively. I hate English language. The only thing more annoying than hearing your alarm in the morning is hearing someone else's alarm. Thank God. And finally, buckle up, it's a doozy. People are able to eat each other's assholes, but aren't able to eat pineapple on pizza. And this has been... I just dropped the truth bomb on you. Suck it. Suck that ass dry. My tumble. I'm about to get so tan, you guys. Those were Icarus's last words. It's a ride. I've said this before and I will say it again. Birds are made entirely of hubris and spite and absolutely do not care what they're not supposed to do. That's why we have things like the Untitled Goose Game. As you die, you wake up in a fiery place. You quickly realize you're in hell. You ask the next demon why you are here, as you have lived a very good life. You are not being punished, he says. You're the punishment. You honk in joy. It's a lovely morning in hell, and you are a horrible goose. Ha! <laughs> Came back around. Fuck. I love it. Why hasn't anyone offered my parents five camels for my hand in marriage yet? What am I doing wrong? It's because you are worth at least ten camels, and they just can't afford you. This is the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Combine 2007 Taco Pancakes Roar Speak with 2016 Small Bean Pupper Speak to achieve true nirvana. Hello, sweet sauce, mommy, baby, raw ecstasy, honey, on your ass, girl, you are very sorry. Oh, God, my heart just stopped. I went and started again. I curse directly at God for allowing me to survive this. Boy, don't make me come over there and nuzzle your heart attack. Nothing is better than finding a walking stick. You're out in nature. You see a thick and smooth stick that's as tall as you. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, yes, I have magic now. Hey, what if we didn't combine dozens of unrelated political positions into two color-coded options? That sounds like something someone from the other side would say. Get em, boys! I couldn't survive in a sitcom. So many characters are just dicks for absolutely no reason, and I would simply have to punch them. The way people treat each other in, like, every single sitcom makes me so angry, and I would be on full-on punch mode all the time and go to comedy jail. I need you to know that I would empathetically and without question pay real human dollars to watch a season of Friends where you appear to routinely beat the shit out of Ross Geller. Oh my god. Somebody fucking gets it. Bah, kids these days. Thinking they have thoughts and opinions us adults should listen to. Bah. Ah, Grandpa forgot to take his medicine. The medicine makes me feel hungry and scared! I wish I was still a child, so I could just find a bunch of leaves and put them in a bowl and pour things into it and give it to someone and they would say, Thank you, mmm, good soup. And pretend to eat it and just accept that as my affection instead of, like, talking to me about how things, like, what's happening or how things are. <sighs> you know, sometimes a URL is an icing on the top. Me in tears halfway through writing a 300-word essay. <laughs> I can't do this anymore! <laughs>
person on 803 who's writing for fun? Words, 1,920,265. Inconvenient truth. These are the same person. Yeah, well, I can't stretch out that review of 16th century economics by adding a gratuitous hand job. Not with that attitude, you can't. Yeah, I'm not sure this new IT guy knows what he's doing. Nonsense! Give him a promotion and give him his own corner office, now! And put lots of string in it, for reasons. Look, I'm not saying I want to be a vampire, but given the chance to be gay, dramatic, and immortal, I certainly wouldn't turn it down. Game has any kind of elemental-based fighting system. Me. Apply Pokemon logic. To be fair, Pokemon element logic is rooted in normal logic. Oh yeah, everyone knows a wrestler's biggest weakness is the local pigeons. Yo, go outside and try to suplex a bird. Tell me how bugs resist fighting! Go outside and try to suplex a bug. Therapist, the semi-hemi-demi-semi-quaver isn't real, it can't hurt you. The semi-hemi-demi-semi-quaver. Oh my god, what the fuck is that?! Envy had nothing. So he killed a man with everything. Envy was... envious. No shit. Well, I can't believe Mike Wazowski killed Markiplier. Oh! Oh, Lordy. Oh! Mike Wazowski... <laughs> killed Markiplier. <laughs> I have never been so broken. In the middle of reading these posts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That just fucking got me. <laughs> it's like, it looks incredibly accurate. If you've never fucking seen that. Like, oh my god. An exorcism is basically a Catholic priest eating the demon out of your body. Okay. As a Catholic, I have to say, this is extremely incorrect. It's not a priest yeeting the demon out of your body. It's God shouting, BE GONE, THOUGHTS! Through the priest to send the demon away. Oh, hey, I made a cameo. Breathe into the fish sword, child. Do it now! What the fuck is this? Are you like, is it like Reef Simulator? The fuck? This morning, I was feeding the seals before sunrise, and the back pool borders a forest that leads to the ocean, so there shouldn't be, you know, anyone around, and someone whistled to me from barely a few meters away in sort of a, hi there, you hoo tone, and this is an open letter to whoever that could have possibly been. I do not care for that at all. It was the seals. <gasps> It is time to clutch your mind with my Tumblr. When you're healthy, it's stay at school and don't do drugs. When you're sick, it's the exact opposite. Saying we have the power to bend light sounds a lot cooler than it actually is. If you are what you eat, then cannibals are the only humans in this world. We now have to prove to machines that we are not robots by pointing at which pictures have the stoplight in them. Home is where your PC is. Well, shit, my PC's at office, so... But The most unrealistic thing about Star Wars is the fact that there is an agreed intergalactic senate. Whereas on Earth, we can't even agree on a universal unit of length. If every purchase you made was measured in hours you worked instead of price, you'd be less of a consumer. At some point in time, dogs could have been taught to retrieve firewood and we wouldn't know. But that's why some dogs are obsessed with collecting and playing with sticks. Cats and dogs are the real winners of evolution. They befriended us intelligent humans and used their cuteness to get free food, free shelter, have no job, and get away with everything. Well, look at them, they're adorable. Noah must have really trusted those two termites that were on the Ark. The first bloke to get shot with a gun on a battlefield after spending ages getting into plate armor must have been really pissed off. And dead! 99% of your thoughts won't get shared in your lifetime. <laughs> Tell that to YouTube comments. And finally, if Elvis were alive today, he'd be screaming in his coffin. And this has been by Tumblr. But up, up, but up, up. Me as my laptop fan suddenly becomes louder. What is it? What program? Who's doing this to you? Control, Alt, Delete. Who do I need to kill? Who needs therapy when you can realize, trademark, things about yourself alone at 1am? Yeah, it's all fun and games until the thing you realize, trademark, at 1am is that you need therapy. Fuck, it's true. My mom has finally understood the concept of how to use tea as slang, but only kind of. She came into my room and said, Jesse, 
I have tea today. Now, obviously, I was like, what happened? But as it turns out, she just thinks tea means information, so she told me that she got avocados on sale. That was the tea. Damn right, that's the tea! Lasers were once a huge scientific breakthrough. Now we use them to play with cats. Computers were once a huge scientific breakthrough. Now we use them to look at cats. Conclusion? Science was made for cats. What if people had food names and food had people names? Hey, spaghetti, time for dinner! What are we having? Margaret! I swear everyone on this website is high. Shut up, chocolate! The four-hour simmer begins. Like, emotionally, or are you making soup? It can be two things! There's evidence that ancient Roman curse tablets were mass-produced, and that's honestly the funniest thing in the world to me. Oh, to be born in the 4th century BC Rome, and wake up every morning to head out to my shift at the curse factory. Immersion broke and Rome didn't have factories. Kinda. How dull for you to live your life without any hills to die on. You on your vast, flat barren of compromise, acceptance, and accommodation. While I reign supreme over the lush, rolling highlands of stupid shit, I have irrationally chosen to stake my entire identity on. As someone who is terrified of having their own opinion, this is truly inspiring. You're telling me Americans don't have these tasty little morsels? Oh shit, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to add the Argonia picture. Or did you? My personality is identical to an octopus. Care to elaborate? Sentient enough to be a dominant species, but probably won't because of disinterest and introversion. Smart enough to cause havoc and plan elaborate escapes. But most of the time, I just drift around eating stuff, able to contort my body into strange and viscerally disturbing forms. Yeah, that's... It's a mood. It's a mood. Mood. Yeah. Like, maybe there's someone in this abandoned clown factory you can help us. This is what companies say every time they try to buy Tumblr. Crabs deserve voting rights, too, I think. How will they tap the screen with claws? Oh! You're so ignorant, it's not even funny. Well, he said he thinks. It's, 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 it's a waffling thought, man. Literally taken one minute apart. Ah, yes, the old scream and sleep, or as I call it, Tuesday. Today I learned when a male honeybee has sex, its testicles explode and the bee dies. Woo! I got that same problem, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I call that the honey nut cheerio. God damn it! Coconuts have only been in the Caribbean for 500 years. They just floated on over from Asia and took root. That's, that's hilarious. Wait, really? I always thought if they were not native, at least brought over on purpose. <laughs> right? I'm watching this nature doc, and when the narrator said that, I nearly spit my drink giggling. They were remarkably buoyant and just bobbed their way to a new shore. So carefree. Truly a fruit destined to be in the Caribbean. Are you suggesting coconuts migrate? Okay, whoever took this picture of me and put it on the internet for me to read blindly, fuck you. It was good. Snakes never visit a restaurant because they don't have any fingers to point at the words they can't pronounce on the menu. That's, that's the only reason why snakes don't go to restaurants? Yes, why else wouldn't they go to a restaurant? Um... You know, I'm, I'm having a hard time arguing with that one. How to summon the Avatar. Set up a cart selling cabbages, and that's it. Just wait for him to show up. My god, you're right, Cabbage. You had better luck finding the Avatar than Zuko did in all three seasons. My cabbage!